On 7 News tonight, a brother's tribute for the Gold Coast man who lost his life saving others at Fingal. Brisbane's billionaire Bricky in court on drugs charges, but does his wealth add up? A stroke victim targeted in a violent Brisbane home invasion. Beaches and parks packed as families head outdoors for Easter Saturday. And the Broncos snatched the grand final replay, but did the refs get it right? This is 7 News Queensland. Good evening. A Gold Coast rescuer who sacrificed his life to save a young girl is being remembered by his family as a hero. The tragedy happened at Fingal Head, just south of the Queensland border. Ryan Martin's heartbroken brother believes the 30-year-old wouldn't hesitate rescuing the little girl again. And Eamon, there are calls for more patrols now at Fingal Head. Yes, Kay, unfortunately, this is the second drowning here in less than six months. The volunteer rescuers at the surf club here will be offered counselling before they get a chance to turn their minds to whether there's anything more they can do to improve safety here. The club is desperate for more funding, but they say the focus right now must be on Ryan's family as they make arrangements to lay him to rest. Kay? Eamon Atkinson. A bricklayer claiming to be a billionaire is facing drugs charges after he was picked up in a suspected stolen sports car. His lawyer thought the tradie had mental health problems until he saw a mind-boggling bank balance. It's three days since a teenager was last seen in North Queensland and her parents are desperate to know she's safe. Caitlin Earle was meant to be camping with her father over Easter, but on Thursday morning she disappeared from the family home. Police believe the 15-year-old from Claremont chose to leave, but officers have no leads on her location. Anyone who knows where Caitlin is should call Crime Stoppers. The body of a missing nurse has been found in outback South Australia. 56-year-old Gail Woodford was allegedly abducted from her home in the early hours of Thursday morning. The four-wheel drive she used as an ambulance was found outside a home in Cooper Pedy yesterday. Police have interviewed a male suspect who will appear in court on Tuesday. Security forces across Europe have, Europe have stepped up after accusations of missed opportunities and bungled intelligence operations in the lead-up to the Brussels terror attacks. There have been more arrests and new terror plots foiled in the past 24 hours. But key bombing suspects are still on the run. OK, after Salah Abdesalam was arrested last Friday, he was interviewed by Belgian authorities the next day. A transcript of that two-hour interrogation has been leaked. Abdesalam was asked about his movements in Paris on the night of November 13. He has downplayed his role in the attacks, saying he was following instructions. But officers did not ask Abdesalam about any future plots. Officials tried to interview him again after the Brussels attacks, but he refused to talk to them. Questions are being asked about whether Belgian authorities have once again allowed a crucial moment in their terror investigation to slip through their fingers. Kay. Kath Turner reporting. Easter holiday motorists are being urged not to leave it to the last minute to fill up for the journey home. Chris Campy, so far petrol has been pretty reasonable, but that could change. Well, Kay, generally at Easter we expect fuel prices to climb as the outlets cash in, but as yet we haven't seen that jump. Now, if you are on our roads, be warned. The police are also on our motorways and in big numbers. And now for a look at the weather, and Tony, the sunshine won't last much longer. OK, it's been a beautiful start to the Easter long weekend, but it is about to change. Storms have been building to the west. They're stretching in a line from the Gold Coast hinterland all the way up past Winton, and it's all moving towards the east. A warning has been issued for heavy rain for this line south of Toowoomba, and that now includes Ipswich. So we could see a storm near the coast later tonight, then more wet weather overnight and tomorrow with thunder, rain and showers continuing until late morning, and then more storms are possible tomorrow afternoon. I'll have more details coming up soon. Thanks, Tony. Well, it was the match Queensland's been waiting for since grand final day last year, and we weren't disappointed. Pat, it was an absolute thriller. OK, it was a beauty. Pleasure to be there. It's only March, but already NRL experts are tipping the Broncos and Cowboys to be on a grand final co collision course. The Broncos won in Golden Point last night, and of course, there was controversy aplenty. We will have the full match report a little later on in sport. It was a great game, plus all the rest of today's. Of course. Thanks, Pat.
But next in Seven News, Greenpeace in hot water over a misleading campaign to save the Great Barrier Reef. Fears of revenge attacks against the West as Islamic State's deputy is killed in Syria. A city evacuated as a truck and train collide, sparking a huge explosion. And our exclusive access to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone 30 years after the nuclear disaster. Now you can watch 7 News live on your mobile with Plus 7 Live. Wherever you are, you're always connected with 7 News and Plus 7 Live. Greenpeace has blamed human error for a misleading image of coral bleaching on the Great Barrier Reef. It tweeted a then and now picture of a reef saying, it's time to listen to nature. The Great Barrier Reef is a clear message, no more coal. But the photo was actually of a reef in American Samoa. Federal Environment Minister Greg Hunt says Greenpeace should use the money raised from their negative and deceptive fundraising campaign to buy themselves a map. Islamic State has claimed responsibility for an attack at a soccer stadium south of Baghdad. At least 30 people died when a suicide bomber blew himself up during a post-match trophy presentation. The local mayor was among those killed as he handed awards to the winning team. More than 60 people were injured. A train and truck have exploded into a fireball after crashing in the US. Authorities evacuated all residents from the city of Callaway, Minnesota, after the freight train and propane truck collided. Fire crews worked for 10 hours to try to safely remove more than 38,000 litres of propane, but it erupted into a massive fireball. Amazingly, no one was injured. As thousands of pilgrims took part in Good Friday processions across the globe, Pope Francis has especially remembered those touched by terror. During a special Easter service, he condemned acts of terror carried out in the name of religion. In expressions of fundamentalism and in terrorist acts committed by followers of some religions which profane the name of God. Security across Rome is heightened as the Italian capital prepares for an influx of tourists over Easter. Still to come in 7 News, convenient or too costly? We weigh up the pros and cons of home doctor visits. The court sequel to a neighbourhood dispute that left a Gold Coast man in hospital. The little dog that took on a can's croc and won. And the new servers delivering what you want, whenever you want, with the touch of a button. A Gold Coast man is spending Easter behind bars after he was denied bail over an alleged violent brawl at Rabina on Thursday night. 47-year-old Peter Adamchek will reappear in the Southport Magistrates Court on Tuesday. He's been charged with unlawful wounding after allegedly stabbing neighbour, 22-year-old Harley Schenk, in the stomach with a Stanley knife. Still to come in 7 News, exclusive access inside Chernobyl's ghost town. The eerie images of the once bustling city that's been frozen in time for 30 years. Ola Havana, Mick Jagger's welcome to fans at the Stones' historic Cuba concert. And will you need to move the egg hunt indoors? Meteorologist Tony Auden with the Easter forecast. The breakfast show that pulls no punches. <laughs> I wanted to do that for some more. Start your day with a laugh. Weekend sunrise, 7 a.m. on 7. A man will stay behind bars following his first court appearance over bombs and maps discovered in a Pullenvale home two years ago. Daniel Fing allegedly stockpiled weapons and the same explosives used in, a, in the London bombings. The 32-year-old didn't apply for bail. He'll be back in court next month. Well, it's been likened to Uber on steroids, except the passengers could be anything from fast food to coffee or alcohol. But are apps like this making us lazy? Don't miss that story soon on 7 News. Sport now and Pat's back. Thank you, Kay. Hello again. Coming up more on last night's epic battle at Suncorp as the Broncos and Cowboys put the rest of the competition on notice. The Suns welcome back their skipper.
And it's now up a formal perish for the Aussies at the 2020 World Cup. Anthony Milford has told Seven News he still has plenty to work on before being mentioned in the same breath as Jonathan Thurston. While the Roosters are chasing their first win tonight, the Titans claimed a controversial thriller in uh, Canberra, and Wayne Bennett still hates Golden Point and had a crack at the Cowboys' tactics. Australia produced their best performance to stay alive at the 2020 World Cup. The Skippers' runs and Faulkner's five wickets clinched victory over Pakistan, setting up a sudden death clash with India to make the semis. There we go, Kay. That's our sport. Thank you, Paddy. Now, tomorrow night, a Sunday night investigation, freezing yourself to good health. Everyone freaks out on their first time. The celebrity-led worldwide rush to snap freeze the ageing process. What woman doesn't want to do that? Ready! They're enduring temperatures that are out of this world. More and more people are becoming aware of the benefits. But some say there's a natural way. Arthritis, MS, diabetes, mental illness, depression. And others warn this apparent fountain of youth can be a chamber of horrors. She got in. Is she she never came out. And... Take one. Bastard. A music master. I never said that. You never said that? No. Lauded by the world's best. I never ever thought I was a rock star. Thought it was part of the act. On his notorious introduction to Australia... Early on, they were a bit rowdy. That all makes good legend, you know. And the strange way he came to love the place. I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> Finance and fuel cast are next, plus Uber for anything, food, drink, even alcohol. But has it gone too far? And storms are moving in from the ranges. I'll have the details and your Easter forecast coming up next. Today's main stories now and the Gold Coast man who sacrificed his own life to save a young girl is being remembered as a hero. And a bricklayer facing drug charges could be one of Queensland's richest men with almost $600 million in the bank. To Fuelcast now and the RACQ says we're at the bottom of the price cycle, so now is a good time to fill up. On to weather now and here's meteorologist Tony Auden. Thank you, Kay. Hello again. Our run of sunny weather is just about to come to an end with storms moving off the ranges this evening. Checking the radar, not too much on the way towards the Gold Coast. The main area of interest is here, moving towards Greenbank, Ipswich and Wyvernhoe Dam. A severe thunderstorm warning is current for heavy rain in that area, with similar conditions persisting until about Thursday. Now let's have a look at the coastal conditions. Thanks, Tony. Well, we're all Queenslanders, but should the North be separate? There's a new push for a referendum to split our state in two. North Queensland MPs say it could go ahead within 18 months. That story in tomorrow's Sunday Mail. With Rod enjoying an Easter break, that's all from us this Saturday. I'll have updates throughout the evening. But for now, from all the team, have a very good night. <laughs>